What's going on guys? Welcome back to Black Tide TV, the second video of the day. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We haven't done a video like this in a very long time. Welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Problematic Camos, where today we're looking at how to get the Chameleon Camo on sniper rifles a little bit easier. This is a highly, highly requested video. You guys have been asking me about this for months, and I'm finally going to do it because... I'll be straight up with you guys, I'll be 100% honest, I never thought this was a really hard challenge before. I thought, yeah, like, bloodthirsties, five kill streaks, or whatever, with your sniper rifles, it can be difficult if you're not a very good sniper, but really, do I need to make a video on it? Like, eventually you're just gonna hit a five kill streak with all the snipers, right? And then I got my hands on the RSA interdiction the other day, and this is easily the worst sniper rifle I've ever used in any Call of Duty ever. And no, I'm not exaggerating. This thing sucks that bad. It's awful. It's absolutely ridiculously terrible. It needs a buff like yesterday. But that aside, I finally figured out why you guys want some help in getting your sniper bloodthirsties. These things are hard when you're not a, when you're not using a very great sniper rifle, when you're not a very great sniper yourself. So today I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about how to get your sniper bloodthirsties, which I really want to stop saying very very easily so why do i want to stop calling them sniper bloodthirsties well to get the chameleon camo you don't need to get bloodthirsties at all i'll say that straight out you don't even have to get all your kills in the same life now we're going to get into that once we get into this video and we build our class we pick our game mode and stuff but that's just going to be one of the little tricks that you're going to learn in this video. Hopefully they haven't patched it yet anyways. But there are a couple other tricks that I want to share with you. So first things first, let's build our class and set up a game mode. So in the game mode area, what you're going to want to do for a choice of game mode is pick something with a central objective and clear spawns. So something like Domination that I'm playing here, it's very clear where people are spawning. You're either spawning on A side or C side with a central objective of B where everybody wants to rush to B. This is a really great idea for a sniper bloodthirsty just because you can really stack up in an area. You can be safe in your own spawn at the beginning of the game. You can take your time, get into a nice overwatch position at B flag, and then just sit there, maybe guard a door, whatever you need to do, and just hard scope it and get your, get your kills as people come through that door. So that's how central objective is very, very helpful. But I wouldn't go for central objectives like hard, co or, uh, hard point, I mean, just because the spawns are always is constantly rotating there and you never know nice little death by jumping out of the map here you never know why like where the enemies will be coming from so you have to have a nice central spawn or a central location to be guarding and very clear spawns on either side so like domination safeguard eh, kind of if you're playing defense on safeguard and there's there's really not a lot of other game modes that have an objective that's so centralized like domination so of all of them, I would say you play Domination, it's your best bet. Now, should you play Hardcore or not? That's really up to you, depending on the weapon. Maybe if you're using the Dracon, you might want to use, you might want to play Hardcore just so you can get easier one-shot kills. Maybe if you're using the PO6, you might want to play Hardcore. I was trying it myself, it was making me rage a little bit. So, maybe you want to do Hardcore, maybe not. Depends on the type of sniper you are. If you're going to be aware of your surroundings at all times, if you know where the enemies are coming from at all times, Hardcore can be really great for you, but at the same time, you can kind of get screwed over and you might not want to try Hardcore. So that's totally up to you. That has nothing to do with whatever we're going to talk about for the rest of this video. So, class build. You're going to want something comfortable, stealthy, campy. You're going to want something that you are okay with. Pick whatever attachments you like, plus I'm going to recommend a couple in a second, but pick whatever attachments you like to make the weapon as good as you can get it. Pick the weapon, uh, pick the weapon and attachments that you're going to be happy with, that you think that you can actually get kills with. Don't just because somebody on YouTube tells you to put on this attachment and you'll do great doesn't mean you're actually going to do great with it. Just like people have different opinions on attachments and weapons and whatever. So make sure you're using something that you're okay with. You have to get five kills with the sniper rifle in a single life. You got to be prepared. You got to be using something that you enjoy. If you need ballistic CPU to keep you a little bit more accurate, if you need some different optics, if you need a closer range optic, do you not like scoping in? Whatever you need to do, pick your attachments for that. However, you should also be running stuff in your class that makes you really stealthy. So first things first, you're going to want stealth perks, stay off the radar, hardwired, stuff like that. Um, I'm trying to think of some other ones. Like blind eye can be really pissed off. You can re get really pissed off if you're at like four kills and 
a chopper, like a wraith or whatever kills you, that'll drive you nuts. So maybe blind eye would be a good idea. Ghost is an all right idea, but you're generally not going to be moving around too much. If you're watching this video, you probably need help with your sniping. So you're probably not going to be moving around and sniping if you're if you're trying to do this challenge. So ghost might not be a great idea. If you are a quick scoper, definitely go for ghost. Um, other kind of attachment or other kind of perks and stuff that keep you off the radar, keep you stealthy, keep you from showing up on people's things like hardwired, probably your best bet because it keeps you off sixth sense and tracker and all that stuff. It's the best perk for this. Make sure you're running hardwired, make sure you're running blind eye. But other things that you should be running apart from the stealthy perks is stealthy attachments. Number one thing that you need to be running on all your sniper rifles at all times is the suppressor. You might be thinking, whoa, 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 why would I want to put a suppressor on this? It's going to make my shots, it's going to make a lot of my weapon, it's going to like make my shots do less damage and it's going to be harder for me to get kills. Wrong. Suppressors do nothing to sniper rifles in this game. Ever since launch, they have not fixed it. I don't know if they if it's a problem, really. So maybe they, that's why they haven't fixed it. But ever since launch in this game, suppressors do nothing to sniper rifles, except suppress them. You're not going to lose range like you do with all your other weapons in this game. Suppressors are absolutely amazing. Do not ever think about not running a suppressor. Always use a suppressor on your sniper rifles. You can use trip mines, you can use shock charges, you can use a secondary weapon. These are all things that I'm saying that you should put on your class. Now we're going to talk about the tricks of the trade in a couple seconds once we get through uh, how you're going to actually get in your gameplay. But just for now, just trust me, put all this stuff on your class. Trip mines, shock charges, secondary weapons. Make sure you're running the specialist nomad with his rejack ability and make sure you're running the, the score streaks UAV counter UAV and hater. Now, what you want to do these these three different score streaks for is UAV number 1, it takes 5 kills to get a UAV. If you get 5 kills and you get a UAV, that that's your 5 kills with your gun. Now, what what's so important about that is that you're not actually counting. If you have a UAV sitting there and you're not getting any other points except for the points you're getting for getting kills, your UAV is going to tell you when you got your bloodthirsty. So that means less stress on you. You're not counting the whole time that you're trying to get this done. You're not counting. You don't get to four and then you start stressing out. You just wait. You just stop counting. Don't think about it. And when you get your UAV, you can know that you got it done. Of course, unless you're doing some of the other things that I'm going to mention in a second. But um, UAV, C UAV and Hater are also really great because they're not going to kill anybody. And th this is a completely stackable... Uh, object objection that you need to, uh, objection what the fuck am i saying objective this is a very stackable objective that you're doing so if you get five kills you're going to get one out of five for your chameleon medal if you get 10 kills in one life you get two out of five for your chameleon medal so if you keep using score streaks that aren't going to kill anybody and you stack up and you stack up it's going to get done a lot faster. So use CUAV, use Hater, and these things aren't going to actually get you any kills, but they're going to help you in getting your kills in the long run. So gameplay, you're going to want to be campy. You're going to want to hard scope. I know uh, you're probably like trying to be a really like stand-up guy when you're... Oh, what the hell just happened there? A train came by and stole my Semtex. But I know you're wanting to be a stand-up guy and do the, the right thing and quick scope and whatever, but don't try it if you're not good at it hard scope from the back of the map if you have to lie down in a prone position like i said get in an overwatch on b flag on domination and just aim at a door or something that's all you have to do don't try to be the gentleman here you're trying to get this challenge done get it done don't don't wait for uh don't wait for it to happen if you're gonna not try to make it happen so you really got to make it so that you are a hundred percent on board with getting this challenge done hard scope your ass off camp your ass off use your overwatch position do not count like i just said do not count up to five just let it happen don't think about how many kills you're at or you're going to get stressed out when you get to three or four and then you're not going to get the fifth kill Swap weapons if necessary. So, like I said, run a secondary weapon, run trip mines and shock charges to defend your ass. But when there's an enemy there, if you're at four kills and an enemy shows up and you don't think you can kill him with a sniper rifle, switch your damn weapon. Really, it's not that difficult. You don't actually have to get bloodthirsties with the sniper rifle. This is one of the biggest misconceptions that I've seen on other people making videos about this, about getting the chameleon camo with your sniper rifles. There is no place where it says you need to get bloodthirsties with your sniper rifles. And this is what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. 
You only need to get five kills in one life with all five kills coming from the sniper rifle. You don't even need to get five kills in a row with the sniper rifle. You can just get five kills while you're alive once. It's that simple. You don't need to uh, get five kills in a row. You don't need to do whatever you're do whatever you're doing and try and kill an enemy at close range with a sniper rifle. If someone rushes you, take out a pistol or take out a secondary like with an uh, overkill secondary and cream their ass and then take out the sniper rifle again. All you have to do is get five kills in one life. Don't worry about getting a bloodthirsty. If somebody gets up close, you kill them with whatever other weapon you have. Don't worry about trying to kill them with the sniper rifle for your fifth kill or whatever. Just protect yourself. Only go for the sniper kills that you know that you can get, and you'll get them eventually. So now we've got two little tricks. I think it's two. I don't know. I've written them down here. But hopefully these two little tricks will actually... It might be two or three. I don't even know. I'm just going to start reading them and tell you about it. So... These tricks, I hope they're really helpful for you. These are the things that you came into this video for, the very special Black Ops 2 Problematic Camelot tricks. First one is, well, swapping is loud. I just said that. So there's the uh, there's the number one trick is what I just told you. It doesn't need to be bloodthirsty. It just needs to be five kills in one life. Easy peasy. Now, the second trick, I don't know if this is patched yet, but Mangoes and Whales actually came out and told me this, which I'll link his channel in the card in the topper corner and in the description. But he actually came out and told me that this used to work. I don't know if they've patched it since. I hope they haven't because it doesn't really make sense to patch it. Well, I guess it kind of does. I don't know. It's making it a lot easier for you guys to get your bloodthirsties. And if you're running Nomads Rejack, like I said, when we were building our class for this video, you will actually be able to get this medal completed, get this Chameleon Camel completed through deaths with rejack so what happens is say you get three kills and you have your rejack charged and somebody comes up and kills you you can actually rejack get the get two more kills and that will count as one out of five for your chameleon camo now this is going to happen every single time with every single weapon as long as they haven't patched it yet you can do this and it will be fine and it's awesome i definitely recommend you run nomads rejack for this challenge it's just going to make your life a whole lot easier just as long as you don't get killed from using the rejack yourself but that is the number one trick that i have for you hopefully it's not patched yet like i have chameleon camo on every single gun in the game i've got diamond or dark matter or whatever you want to call it on every gun in the game including the rsa interdiction i forgot to actually even try it when i was using the rsa interdiction so i i don't know if it's gonna work or not i, I mean i've i was using a lot of weird stuff that i didn't mention in my commentary in this video just because of the rsa interdiction is a whole different story it's a completely different gun and i was just trying to use it to complete multiple challenges at once here but what I'm trying to say is use the Nomad Rejack, use whatever you need to use, make yourself comfortable in this situation, make yourself, like, give yourself pistols for secondaries or overkill secondaries, use tacticals and lethals and whatever you need to do, use suppressors and stealth, and you're going to have a much easier time getting this challenge done. That's pretty much all I have to say in this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope I helped you. If I did, hit the like button. Comment down below if you know if the Rejack buff or, or the Rejack glitch works or not anymore they may have patched it i know they've been working tweaking the specialist a lot lately but hopefully it's uh hopefully it's easy enough to get this done hopefully that rejack isn't screwed up yet but it's pretty easy to do once you set your mind to it like i said just don't count just make it chill and it will happen eventually so don't worry about it it's gonna get it's gonna get done and you guys are you guys are awesome so you're gonna get it done you're gonna get it done quickly especially after all these great tips so thanks a lot for watching and um and yeah that's pretty much it for me make sure you hit the like button subscribe we're almost at 1000 subscribers like 988 or something before i started this video and we want to do something really special when we hit 1000 subscribers so hit the subscribe button check out no scope gaming glasses with the link in the description and i'll see you guys on monday